my teammates. Have you ever been in that type of situation before, Steven? I mean, that's a pick six to win it. Man, I haven't. I have, I have to give all glory to God, man. I haven't. Thank Take us you. through what happened on the play. Uh, we was actually cover eight, and they tried to run like a little uh, wide receiver screen to the best receiver. And uh, I guess we had great pressure, and he didn't throw it. He threw it kind of late, and I just stepped in front of it. Steve, when you came, when you made the decision to come here to Oregon State, the first opportunity to play D1, is this what you dreamed about? Oh, yeah, man. I had. It was hard times being in junior college, watching all my friends play Division One. when I know I should be there and I can play on that level. And I'm finally here, man, and God is good. Jordan Poirier said, Steve Nelson, I see you. You've made me effing proud. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, he called me. He called me before the game. He called me before every game, man, and just encouraged me to get my mind right. So big ups to that guy. Does he give you any advice, get in your ear about anything? He, you just, tell me, he just tell me that he knows that I'm a, I'm a real good athlete and that he sees it in me. He tells me to trust myself. And so when I started listening to that, you know, I started playing better. Steve, Sean what Martin. Did you say about this team? You guys had really no business winning, winning this game. You right. That I wasn't second. Uh, it, about this team, man, we're fighters, man. You know, uh, Coach Riley preaches that, and all our coaching staff. You know, we work hard through uh, two days. This is where two days come from to win it all. Did it feel like the, it felt like the sideline was dead at one point? That you guys were just you looked beat. Yeah, yeah. You know, we get those ups and downs. You know, this team has a little few roller coasters and stuff like that. But you know, when it's good, it's good, and God is good. Is it starting to sink in? Uh, not yet, man. Not yet. Even when I had two picks last game, it didn't sink in until I got probably back to Corvallis. You know, and everybody was calling me and congratulating me, you know. He's just, man. What did Brandon say to you after your game? Uh, Brandon, uh, after 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 I made the play, he just came over me, hugged me, told me he loved me, told me thank you, and uh, he just told me he had my back. And, you know, to hear that from him, the team leader, you know, it means a lot to me. Brandon finds, uh, honestly, I'm happy with himself. Right. Yeah. What do you say to him when he, when you know he's down a little bit? I mean, I just tell him, you know what I'm saying, just keep your head up. You know, nobody's perfect, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's perfect, and, you know, everybody's going to make mistakes. And, you know, you just got to come back and fight harder. But he knows that he's a smart football player, and he's mentally strong.